<laughs> Before I um, came to Balance View Teachings, I've had a very big life and pr pretty much my whole life I've been a spiritual seeker, searcher, even from a little girl. I, I knew open intelligence, I, I, knew, I just knew, knew it and was so bewildered because I just couldn't see it reflected anywhere in the world around me and I just knew something was wrong with the world and um, I, was going to, I was determined to find out in my life what, what was the real meaning of life. And um, as I got older I just felt all these covers coming over me as I just, all I wanted was to fit in and belong and I just never, never felt that I did because I just knew something, just something amazing but something that wasn't right and the only place I could find it was in nature. So at some point I, um, being one of the hippie generation, had quite a peak experience and um, that opened up something for me that really, really changed the way I lived in terms of, I couldn't follow a conventional life, I never have. And um, I got onto this whole life of spiritual teachings to try and get this experience back and um, that was a really big mistake but I didn't know that then. And um, so, so I had a long, long time of, of every teaching, every teacher, every book, every training, everything I did, everything I tried, and everything helped and everything showed me something. But um, by the time I got to Balanced View, just before I met the, the, the teachings, I think I was in a really devastated place because I just realized that, you know, everything that I've been looking for and, and hoping to find, um, it, I just still didn't have it. Something just, it just wasn't, hadn't worked and I just was getting older and um, oh, it was desperate really to, um, to know what to do. And it was the first time in my life I'd even considered that maybe I needed medication because everything from anxiety to fear to depression was all rolling all at once. And um, these friends of mine uh, that, that, that I used to do other things with introduced me to Balanced View teachings and um, I was quite resistant because having had this whole life I thought, no, I've done all of that and it hasn't worked and I don't need anything else to add to the list. You know, I'm just going to do my own thing. And uh, so I, I was quite resistant for the beginning for a while and also thinking that I knew something, I knew a lot. But <clears throat> I started listening, I started listening to downloads of Candice. I, I, I started just with the downloads, that really worked for me and, and I thought it just felt to listen to, to that rather than what was going on in my own sort of maelstrom of a mind at that time. So. I, get, I just felt this incredible st um, serenity and peace and then I started to just take up doing the trainings and um, I was, it was slow for me because I had so much stuff, I felt like I had so much baggage but I trusted, I actually really trusted, I saw changes happening in, the, in my friends around me and also I'd met Catty and trainers came out to Australia and I could see that these people were really shining and they were really living what they were teaching and, and I'd always been in this situation where there was one guru, you know, it was this like this big guy sitting on top of the mountain and, and we were all sort of looking up and going, wow, we'll never get there. But, <laughs> but here, <laughs> it, but here there, they, there are just lots of people and they're just like me and um, well, they're better, you know, they look better than me then. but. <laughs> you know, they're all, and they're young and they're different ages. So that really touched me and, and I just felt, no, <coughs> I trust this somewhere, I really trust it and I don't understand it and, and I don't need to and all I need to do is show up and I really love the, um, for me coming to the community and being with people, it's like one of the mainstays that really works for me because Everybody is going through all sorts of stuff. They've got everything running like I do. And yet there's this taking responsibility for the data. And um, 
it's just the most amazing community I think that I've ever been in and I have been in a lot so I can probably write the Lonely Planet Guide book <laughs> to enlightenment <laughs> and, <laughs> um, so I keep coming back because it just works and um, the mainstays work and even no matter what my what my head says you know and my head can be pretty negative and um, it just works by showing up by doing doing the the teachings by having the trainer having all the support and um, I love what Kent said this morning it's like why try and climb a mountain alone you know you might just peel off somewhere or um, if it was me, I'd probably find some little chai shop at the beginning and just park there. And, you know, <laughs> not, not want to go any further. <laughs> so, having having the, you know, it's like having all these people who've gone ahead. Um, it just keeps pulling you up, you know. If you if you're the lazy one like me, you just you can't park. You just keep going. And um, it's just it's just amazing. Is that my five minutes? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, yeah, um, it wasn't as bad coming up here as I thought it was going to be. And and that's one of the big benefits, the fact that I'm actually up here doing this.